I woke up this morning, went on Twitter, and found out that the Democrats are about to pull the nuclear option. Well, wait, what, is, what does that mean? Does that mean, like, they're expanding the Supreme Court? Does that mean that they're, like, finally getting rid of student loan debt? Wait, does that mean that they're getting rid of the filibuster? No, it, it doesn't mean anything like that. Apparently, because they don't think that Kamala Harris is electable in 2024, they're doing the nuclear option of putting her on the Supreme Court? The left field Supreme Court theory, this is according to the Telegraph, would mean Mr. Biden nominating Ms. Harris, a former high-flying prosecutor, if a seat on the court became available over the next three years, which it may well. Mr. Biden could then use Section 2 of the 25th Amendment to nominate a more popular vice president after that. That person would be the presumptive Democratic nominee should Mr. Biden not run for re-election at the age of 82. If Mr. Biden stepped down before November 2024, the new vice president would then become the president and run as an incumbent. Okay, so that is the theory, and all of that is at least constitutional, which many of the theories we hear these days are not. Uh, why would any of that happen, though? What? Okay, so Kamala Harris isn't popular enough to be elected, so what do we do, guys? What do we do? I have a theory. I have a plan. Nothing. You don't do anything. Why would you have to do anything at all? Kamala Harris is right now the VP. That doesn't mean she just gets to be the nominee in 2024. And I would argue she's probably not going to be. The weird thing about this is that they, like the Democrats, and when I say the Democrats, I mean like the centrist, moderate, corporate establishment Democrats, are just so sure that it has to be Harris or Buttigieg. And they will not accept any other alternative that they are manipulating every position in government to try to make that happen. I want them to think about a couple of things. One, if she's not popular enough to be president, do you think it would be a popular move to throw her onto the Supreme Court? She was a prosecutor like a billion years ago. She's not a judge. Now, granted, you don't have to have served as a judge or whatever, but like we, I think we'd want it. Didn't we spend the last few years saying that the Republicans were, were suggesting people for the court that weren't qualified? And now we're just going to turn around and do the exact same thing? And for the dumbest possible reason? Just so that she doesn't have to, like, run and lose in a, pri in a primary? Or run and lose in the, pre like, in the general election, which implies that they think we shouldn't even have a primary, not just if it's Biden, but if it's Harris? I got news for you. You have a primary if the VP runs and the VP doesn't have to run. Cheney didn't run for the presidency. Biden did, sure. You don't have to, though. You seriously don't have to do that. And you do not have to use a position on the Supreme Court as if it's, it's just like a trick up your sleeve. That is a lifetime appointment, one of the most powerful positions in our government. And this is how callously they look at the import of that position. And, and Buttigieg, too. Like, okay, Columbia uh, Sippa has a tweet. Kamala Harris and Pete Buttigieg could agree to run together in 2024 if Biden is not running again, giving the Democratic Party a very strong ticket that would seem like a natural continuation of Biden's first term. Well, they did work for him, so I guess in that way, uh, it sort of is a continuation. Why would it be a very strong ticket? Why? How did, how did Harris do in her primary? Now, the primary is not the general election. I get that. But you have to win over your own people first before you can hope to win anyone else over. She didn't do well at all. Like, Buttigieg, at least, was part of that whole Super Tuesday shenanigans that they pulled. Harris had already dropped out, like, months earlier at that point, And Buttigieg had no chance of winning at that point. We have polls. We don't have to speculate about how popular people would be. We can actually look and find out. And again, just because they're not popular now doesn't mean that they don't get to run or might not become more popular, but we have data that we can actually apply to this. What all of this, ha the reason I want to talk about this is this Columbia thing and the Telegraph, their nuclear option. What is in these articles means almost nothing in comparison to what they were, are willingly leaving out which is that there are other politicians that might be popular, that might do well, 
but the Democrats that are in charge don't want them to run, okay? And so we are still a long way off from the primary, let alone the general election. But I want you to all be ready, because if we want a candidate that we can get behind, look at the obstacles we are already coming up against. Oh, okay.